Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my run of um, Divine Ifrit uh, Where Machina is just going to absolutely melt him uh, Apparently this boss has a launch resistance uh, But I think that's only when his turn becomes frames when the orb swapped But uh, with this team that should never happen um, If you don't have your Shatola I'm pretty sure Pain would work in the same exact way uh, Maybe a little less brave gains but since uh, there's no reductions in the stage, uh, pain should work fine because Machina already gives himself 20% uh, brave gain up from somewhere. Uh, is it, well, if this is the X buff, that might be a little uh, rough, but I'm pretty sure it's from his LD. So uh, yeah, uh, I usually would like to sw I use Fran and swap in uh, Auron, but um, him putting Sentinel on the other two. Um, Dudes definitely helps out this strategy because <laughs> Macken's gonna melt them so hard. We we kind of need that um, reduction for the triple freaking damage we're about to take. Well, when when he gets into that phase. This is actually, I think, a rough start, but we should be fine. Because you still need to, like, we need to not kill double freaking BT things going. BT finishes. So mm, that could be interesting. Ah, oh, we should be able to heal it up with uh, HP regen from Sentinel and the counter heal. We should be fine. And uh, Shiva's to uh, freeze the last threshold. I uh, kind of want to save Pulse of Life with Ishtar just in case we need the heals. Uh, we can throw up the base shield here to have mitigation. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Okay, yeah, okay, we're gonna trigger that threshold pretty freaking soon. Uh, hopefully, we can trigger it on uh, Owen's turn. I think I'll take the free awakening because it's just free damage. And Machina definitely needs to trigger the uh, the orb, which I'm pretty sure he could do now, but let's guarantee it. I don't know why you're suddenly invisible there, orb. We finish with Machina. Uh, Machina is just disgusting. In a word. Yeah, we definitely didn't trigger it. And this should be the threshold attack, but we have shields up, so it should, shouldn't do too much. We take an itty bitty bit of damage here. 
I think we can't heal up. Okay, yeah. Sure. I'm doing damage before he leaves. I'm pretty sure we don't even need the uh, melee in peril. Yeah, he's he's not even touching the shields here. Don't know what that buff is, but it's getting dispelled. Oh, my can account is too short. Just build up my uh, BT stacks there. That's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, like, you is stupid even as a call. <laughs> I wonder if his um, call actually also gets the Brave reduction, because it didn't in the past. That's something new in this kit. So Aaron has done his job, well we may as well just uh, pop this on Machina first. Uh, next threshold I need to make sure I don't push him below is uh, 69, I think it's 69, so we should be fine. Got full HP, drop in uh, Cloud Darkness, get to max stock and stacks first. Oh, those are some good spheres on your Cloud Darkness. Triple Brave Damage ones, one of you are fine, but that's fine. That debuff probably does something to that, mm, I don't care about. Oh, there's a HP regen, boo, but it should be fine. Does she have Stola have E slot? She can use the Neil Sphere. That's interesting, I might do that later. What's, what's uh, E Stola's last slot? Other than that, uh, you could put Amy's on her to give her eyebrow regen. That doesn't seem necessary though. We aren't even set up when he's under 30%. Like, we definitely got the nerf version of it for it. So we need to add e call, make sure we're all invincible and stuff. It doesn't actually matter what you study, does right? Oh, she does give insane eyebrows, so that might actually pump up the shields there. Uh, I don't think we can even take the uh, free awakening. Might be too much damage. How much does Cloud Darkness do? I'm not sure if that's close to 1%. We're actually going to launch the orb. Uh, actually, we can't, can we? We need to launch. Go ahead and see how much this Free Awakening does, and then we might just 
attack the orb because Sid Rain's Call will do nearly a freaking million damage. Which is actually bad because we don't want to push the next threshold yet. We will do this damage, see how much this does. It was on 76. Yeah, okay. Maybe could have gotten away with it. Well, better not risk it. Go ahead and not launch this orb. To be more than fine. We'll also bring Cloud Darkness. Mm, I think we'll bring Yishtoda forward because I don't want to get any double turns. So I don't know how this works. Uh, I think we'll bring Yishtoda forward. No. Because Yishtoda is our protection at the moment. Yeah, that turn order should be fine. And now to blow up here for it. So is it 74 before doing... Oh, okay. Ah, uh, is it because Cloud Darkness jumps is why you should have gets double turns? Yeah, okay. Maybe we should put Cloud Darkness forward? Would that have worked? Probably not. I was not expecting you to recover. Don't drop them, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty good we avoided that uh, launch there because that would have done too much damage. And now uh, Cloud Darkness is above uh, by a stack so you can hyper beam freely. If she gets another break, which she probably will do in this first phase. Wow, this is dumb. I haven't even begun and you're at 70% HP. This is Lafinia Plus, right? Not just base Lafinia. Because all you've done is set up on you and your arm. Well, I wouldn't say all. Okay, this is Lafinia Plus. Cool. Time to blow you up a bit now, though. Mm, like, increased cap and brave game definitely paying dividends here. The hardest thing is uh, getting his first HP um, dump to cap with refund because it does keep scaling up and up. As long as there's a cap in the second hit, everything else is going to cap. You double check is we capped five percent, six percent per per HP plus. Let's go, Macne, you are stupid. Oh, I love you. Plus the free damage Cloud Darkness is doing as well. Seven percent per per HP plus. So first dump one six something, second dump one six. So he's literally capping everything. Awesome. The stupid things you can get away with, no freaking reductions. Kind of sad we didn't get the. Uh, the actual effort of uh, make sure uh, AC 10 million HP. But this is hilarious, people can mean this. Oh, this one might just do flat freaking 10%. I'm gonna start at 67. So that's 57 now. Well, we'll wait for Cardon to follow, uh, follow up. So 55, we'll see how much takes it down. <laughs> Almost half a re million freaking regen, sure, why not? I guess not gonna you do you buddy.
So it is six percent, six seven percent per HP plus. The cloud bounce follow ups might increase that. Okay, definitely some percent at least. And that apparently might do something, but I doubt it. <laughs> With no reduction, you see how freaking stupid key scores is as well. That this key sit rings combo has been uh, insane for burst pluses. Machina definitely sent in sent, uh, increases that. Uh, well, I've been having issues like brave capping and stuff. If I use that combo, uh, usually uh, reliant on uh, Chris Armicle. But with no reductions, can do this pretty freaking freely. And the stupidness that I see now, you coming soon is gonna be awesome. We get you to the 29 threshold. Should be able to do pretty easily. Because then we won't need uh, your Stola's call. Well, Warrior Light's call. Cool. Because you still have got double turns. <sighs> For some dumb reason. Actually, into the Warrior Light's call, cool. probably could have used Sets there. Because it's just. Duration doesn't decrease unless it's the orb trigger. And so, definitely could have used Hetzer instead of Warrior Light, but Warrior Light's fine. Uh, Machina does have Brave Reduction to himself, so that definitely helps out. Also, uh, you should increase in the Eye Brave, which I think works on Core. <laughs> using Shield so high is probably because he's in Synergy, but is what it is. So yeah, I'm used to Magnus just melting the entire bar, so uh, if it's a little thicker, could have been thicker still, but uh, whatever. I'll just take my resources and go. Interesting, like, if it's the first boss they stealth nerfed with HP value. Maybe it was too hard on JP for people to clear, who knows. So we should just take three back-to-back -back attacks and just be invincible. I yeah, probably could do some Galson, each Tola here, with the Brave Greens up for more damages. But our arm is really good though. I'm doing other place, I don't think. If I had twins, maybe then. Because the cap would have been uh, disgusting. Okay, why did your orb trigger there, uh, Mr. Flamey Flame? So attack one, against breaks, blah blah blah.
<laughs> oh, Kyle Dunn's getting trouble turns for some reason, sure. Why is Magnum not counting? He's taking age three damage. It's all cloud darkness at this point, which is fine, but you know. Oh, Mark and actually taking damage here. So it's called Darkness. Oh, that's fine. It's, it's kind of nice just stacking up three turns after three turns. Ah, oh, this isn't going to be a perfect victory, whatever. Oh, you still can heal her before she leaves perfect. Well, maybe not. I think she's actually going to re-break that, which is a shame. But it's fine. The HP would... I think there's like 40k. Yeah. It's a shame. Uh, <laughs> Cloud Darkness has taken a bunch of damage before she leaves. There's nothing I can do on that. Go ahead and freeze that. You may as well hype your beam before you go, Cloud. I oh, still HP capping without the max stacks of darkness, sure. One time I wanted uh, you still to be faster. I cry. Oh, we may as well tornado again. With the damages. Oh, there's LD Hills, okay. Did not know that. Kind of. Uh, oh no, we have to freeze debuff. I want to um, call in summon the last hit, uh, Zid Rain, so we'll do this. We're going to heal Machina a little bit. Also, it doesn't matter, because we're above the threshold now, anyway. Do not uh, want you to start again extra turn there. Yeah, sure, we'll get the X here, why not?
delay B for some dumb reason, I guess. Definitely clicking that 1 million attack damage button here in Sid Vane's Core. We do have multiple of those on back now. <laughs> oh, geez, even Sid Vane's Core is almost capping. Oh, you might actually do some more. Oh. There's a HP reduction. Oh, you're sad. Oh, okay. He gets insane reduction when his um when his turn is framed. <laughs> Still back. Do you know there? I guess we might as well breathe in the app. I guess it's just wait for Machina's next turn to do the damage damage. Oh, Max Brave also took a freaking dive. Still 1.6, okay. Machina just, you know, eating fire there apparently. Oh, you counter that for some reason? Was it because of the brave attack? What the crud happened there? I need to realize that, like how Magnus counters work. And he countered the HP attack. What the crud? Sure. He's going to learn to accept it at this point. I guess we'll go in it and heal just because we can. I don't think we need the wall call anymore. I think I could have done less turns if I didn't waste uh, the Sentinel's call, but it's fine. Magnus still blew up freaking effort. You can see that Max Brave down being really freaking annoying. You know, I have no idea where that's from. Is it from the debuff? No, it just says fire resist down. Is it Nora or something? No, okay, we might as well out and see if they kill themselves. Why not?
Well, either we're going to overkill the <laughs> one percent left, or they're going to die as a counter attacks. Taking guesses now, which one it's going to be? We'll see if Machina's counter also triggers from his friend getting hit. No, okay. Oh, you actually did damage there, boo. Oh, okay, overcut it is then. It's not quite enough. We need to be at max HP. You still look in state damage, that's fine. <laughs> 24 and his awakening buff, why not? Uh, yeah, we'll finish off with those blades. I need to kill him. Actually gross. Uh, this time I took zero damage. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you stood on Cloud Darkness were freaking hurting. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that's the team and stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed the run, and I'll catch you guys next time.